a wicked a wicked shot there that that had a top spin and bounced and um, over the top of Hoffer's uh, outstretched arms. Two nil. Bucks. So here's uh, here's Kim coming in for Randell on the left. So Bucks up 2-0. So DeMarlo with his third goal of the season, his second goal tonight. As we said earlier, just a bright feature for that young man, the freshman from Chelsea, England. Yeah, he got off to a slow start, but he's uh, he's been scoring of late. Yep. Once again tonight, the fellow Brits. It's a nice connecting here on that last goal. The assist from Coombs, his second tonight, and his third of the year. And Patrick Domola with his second goal tonight in his third of the season. Ball kicked out, and I believe Eckerd should be throwing in from the sideline here. The Bucks. I don't know that that's an assist. Getting. Kicked up by Juarez. We'll go right to Jean. Picked up Jean directing traffic here, trying to tell his teammates to get up field. Kicks it ahead. When, as we mentioned to you earlier, not much of a factor as we encountered here in the first match. Delightful night for soccer here in this mm -hmm. finale of the 2012 season. Yeah, it's kind of like we've been waiting for this weather and we've been waiting for these results from the Bucks for a while. Player knocked down, that was Lee. And sub coming in for Ecker. That is going to be Seb Marley checking in for Chris Moore. Seb Marley, a junior from Worcester, England. Nine international players, or actually ten international. Oh, no, actually, take it back. As play continues on here with the Bucks had 11 international players, and now those 11, eight from England, one from Mexico, one from Finland, one from uh, Brazil. That's really now called on Eckert. That was a beautiful spin there from Kim to. Uh, to enhance the foul and earn a yellow card there. Picked out and this time the yellow card going to be issued to Dean Hobbes. Conkleton passes back to Sevieri. Slides in front of Wilkinson. Pass back to Conkleton. Kicks it up. Trying to connect with Dermola. We'll go to Juarez instead. Hobbes there. Wilkinson picks it up. Slides it over to the side. Kim trying to keep it in play, and I don't think he did. Nope. Player down, though, at the same time for the Bucks, and I believe that's Wilkinson on his knees. He'll pop back up momentarily. Yeah, he's did a lot of that by just trying to avoid getting, getting whacked, but I do believe he got one leg hit there. Throwing it in Brenner. And hits off Dermola, and Tridents will throw again deep in their own zone. Box up 2 0. A match that's really not going to impact the standings one way or the other. Not the type of drama we had in the women's match earlier today. Eckert, as you mentioned to you, they already have their playoff fate determined, or postseason fate determined, as they'll be playing next week. They will. I believe host a game next week. They are the fourth seed. Uh, for the Buccaneers, 2 0 victory, trying to hold on and <laughs> get their fifth win of the year to conclude 2012. Foul called on the Tritons. Yeah, Juarez, Eduardo Juarez just had such a big hold of the jersey right in front of the crowd that the entire crowd was, hey! And, you know, finally the referee said, all right, all right. So. Uh, it was a really interesting uh, sort of all all for one there. Pass here to Seeley. Slides it to Dramola. Pass back to Kinsman. Hits off. Kicked out of there by... Picked up by Conkleton. 
Pass back to Sevieri. This is Dodds. Kinsman back to Dodds. Over to Sevieri. Over to Coombs. Skips past him. Picked up by Brenner. Kicked up by Juarez. Go back over to the Buccaneers side of the field. Sevieri controlling. We'll pass over to Conkleton. Kicks it across here to Real Torto. It's a beautiful touch. Speeds ahead. See if he Slides can. in the front. This is Dermola. On the dead run. Slides a nice pass to Coombs. Couldn't make the connection right there. Oh. Punching that one up. Rio Torto tried to it was get Rio it. Torto. Stop clock, stop clock. And down on the ground. One of the Triton defenders. That was a Stopping nice clock one. here with 27-47 remaining in the contest. Bucks up 2-0. Knocked it down, Eduardo Juarez. It was a really good ball, and Dermola even overtouched it, but was able to catch it and get it back, and Coombs almost had a shot at it, and then the, the rebound came to Rio Torto, was just a little behind him, and he tried to almost jump back and, and, and poke a little volley over the top, but he's a wonderful athlete. Uh, Obviously, looking to find his find his place on on the starting roster. Kicked up and fight for it. Eckerd has it. Slid back by Swindell. Kicked ahead. It might have been Duffy. Might have gotten a foot on it, or actually, it might have been Marley. Nicely played by Coombs to come back for the ball. Coombs will spin around, make his way towards the near side, trying to get around Hobbes. <laughs> Still on the run. Hava shoves him out. And Coombs right behind him. Whistle and nope, just going to ball will be out. And Eckerd will throw in. Well, he we beat him three times and finally uh, Hava said, okay, that's enough and kind of rode him all the way out of bounds here. But uh, a couple of Brits going after one another. Dean from Swindon yep. and Coombs from Newcastle. And they were, they were talking. Goes right to Jean. Uh, rolls it ahead here to Dodds. Picked off. Tipped by Dodds again. Gets it to Seeley. Over to Wilkinson. Kicks it ahead. Either to Dermola or to Coombs. We're kicked out there by Juarez. Kinsman to Wilkinson. Over to Conkleton. We're right at the midfield stripe. Kicks it towards the center field to Coombs. Pass back to Kinsman. Connects with Kim. Nice little slide pass over to uh, Wilkinson, correction. Gets around him. Hard shot, but kicks it high above the goal. Got inside the box, was over on the left side, and diagonally kicked it, but went over to crossbar and over Hoffer, yeah. and out of play. He had Dermola also on the far post, so he kind of... Yeah, so that that was a nice little move. I think he just leaned back. He was he was thinking of just bending it around the keeper, and he just kind of got a little bit under it. Picked up, kicked up in the air by Sevieri. Dermola there along with Lee. Lee will get it for Eckerd. Pass back over to Marley. Trying to shoot ahead here to Duffy. Kicked up by, I believe that was... Dodds and possession will be awarded to Ackard. Thrown on in. This is Moroski. Right there, Real Torto. Kicks it ahead, trying to find Ermola with Marley right there as well. Ball kicked out. Eckerd throws in. Hoffer. Kicks it ahead. And it's it across here to Sevieri. Yeah, the, the Bucks Kim. are again winning a lot of these loose balls. And this is Lee passing back here to Juarez. Gets it to Brenner. <laughs> this is Coombs. Look at Seeley. Yep. <laughs> Connecting with Seeley over on the far side. 
Seely trying to get around, and oh, it's going to be kicked out, and a goal kick coming up here for the Eckerd Tritons. Yeah, so the Bucks again pressing forward. Eckerd seems to have kind of uh, sat back a little bit here and decided they don't need to win. They're going to keep it respectable. Try and get that, you know, try and get the uh, the one goal, and then maybe they'll press for it. A lot of uh, a lot of players just getting up off the bench for the Bucks to uh, to warm up. So it's possible we're going to have some wholesale substitutions here coming. Probably the rest of the seniors that might be checking in. Yeah. We'll see. Ball gets past Dodds. We're right to Jean. Of course, nine seniors were honored earlier tonight. Were honored right before the this match tonight. That being Randy Taylor, Guillermo Oliveira, Christian Yidios, Fred Perez, Johnny Rodriguez, Houghton Kinsman, Kendall Seeley, Edwin Jean, and Joe Conkleton. That's a nice little play from Rio Tarto. Has some wonderful touch on the ball. The head shielding it off is Marley. Kick the cross over to Conkleton. Of course, earlier this afternoon, spun around, and Kim is going to get the yellow, and this could be even worse because he let that's going to be a red card. Kim is gone. And that was right after, I believe it was Kinsman who got tripped up, and then Kim in retaliation just led with that right elbow and just knocked the Triton down, and without a hesitation, the official whips out the red card, and Kim is gone. Yeah. And he probably should have done that earlier, but. Yep. So Kim going to be escorted off the field. His night is done. So the Bucks are going to be down a man for the final 22 minutes and 22 seconds. Red card going to be issued, trying to get my math correct here, at. 67, no, nope. yes, 67, 67.38. Yeah, now, this is what happens when referees do more talking than carding, in my opinion. This is what happens. Now he's got to start giving out reds and yellows, and, and we might end up with like seven on seven at the end of this game. <laughs> but um, I'm not really sure why... Why Kim did that? Honestly, it was a it was a hard tackle. It was 50-50. Just trying to defend his teammate. That's all. Yeah, but he didn't need to. You know, it wasn't a it wasn't a hard tackle. It wasn't a. I mean, not trying malicious. to excuse the uh, the elbow. Not trying. No, to I mean it, they were an explanation. <laughs> it, yeah, but it wasn't a malicious foul. It was a it was a tough 50-50 ball. Good tackle. I don't know. He just kind of. I don't know about that. The instinct to oh, to raise the score. elbow. Sauce his composure. Yep. So the Bucks down a man. They'll probably put a crimp and Steve McCraft as far as how he's going to handle substitutions, trying to get those seniors in. Probably about five at a time. Probably about it. And then we're actually going to get a backstory here because yeah. I believe. Jun Kim, who is only trying to get his classification correct, only a junior here, will be back for a senior season. And when we get to 2013, it won't be off to a good start for him because he is going to be a, a significant amount of time. Well, he, any red card's automatically a two game suspension. But. Uh, yeah, and then probably missed two games, and he may, and they may give him another another day off uh, because he's already had a previous uh, a previous red card, so he could miss up to three games. As we're going to see some subs checking in here, just trying to get a little bit of a backstory here on Jun Kim as his night's done, as we just mentioned to you, as he's still in plain view just happens to be right in front of the uh, shrubbery it's 
But in between here, Buckner Field, the soccer side of things, and Buckner Field, the baseball side of things. Coombs out and Randell back in. Yeah, he has to leave the field area, so. Picked up, and Ecker will throw in here with 21 minutes to go, so I'll have to beat a determination once they look at the video on how they'll yeah. handle Kim's situation here and I mean, if it was how determined, much right, if punishment it's they'll receive. Right now, probably minimum two games will probably miss, but we'll find yeah. out. And, of course, that will carry on over to the beginning of next season. Mm -hmm. This isn't his first red card this season either, so. Yep. Kicked up by Moore and jumping up there, making a nice catch, falling down over is Edwin Jean. He's making extra sure that he's got that ball. So 20 minutes here to go for the Bucks. As I said, things getting a little bit chippy here. Even though the midfield's opening up just a little bit, the, the Eckerd players have got to push up a little and try and win a ball here to, uh, to create a chance to get back in the game. Tripped up, and foul should be on Eckerd. Bucks will get the ball here. We're under 20 minutes left, and this one ahead 2 to nothing. Now he's going to be extra careful. Bucks controlling the shots tonight, 17-6, and that's pretty much been the uh, the theme here tonight and this afternoon. Bucks women's team earlier tonight controlling the tempo and the play and the shots, winning that one, and now the shots here tonight, almost a three to one margin as far as the Bucks are concerned. Ahead, 17-6 shots on goal, seven to three in favor of the Bucks. Yeah, the difference in this game is that the men's team here was able to get the second goal and the women's team just weren't able to push that second one across. And Kicked and ahead, Seeley right there, trying to give chase, trying to get a foot on it, gets past the goalkeeper, still trying to give oh. chase, but it goes out of play. Got past Hopper, had the hurdle over him, but couldn't stop his momentum or the ball at the same time and just really couldn't get control of it to where he could turn and try to kick it towards the vicinity of the goal line or the goal in general. Yep. There's nothing like speed. There's nothing like speed. He really caused the keeper to, to really uh, push up out of the box and he was almost able to push it past him and, and get it on the back side. Pass back Wilkinson to Dermola here with 18.25 to go. Bucks 18 minutes away. They can hold on here towards their fifth win of the season. This is Seeley. Wow. Of course, a big come down after the last couple of seasons. Of course, two years ago, Bucks hosted the Sunshine State Conference Tournament, qualified for postseason play last year. But a different theme this year. Nice small pizza. As we have under 18 minutes to go. And a free kick coming up here for the Buccaneers. Yeah, this is one you could you could take from here. You just they have a have a crack at it. And it'll be Wilkinson who'll take the crack at it. Sophomore from Newcastle, England. That's a good ball. He can get the cross. Sets it up. This is real torto and kicked out. And let's see what they're going to call. Should be a or is it a corner? Yep, corner. this will be a corner. And just one too many touches there. You had. So we'll see the lad from England who will take that corner kick. Of course, we were talking about Chris Wilkinson. I mean, I mean, you have all that time and all those players in the box. You need to serve that. My opinion. And, you know, that's the decision that, that he's going to have to get better at is is when to take on, when to, when to pass it off, when to serve it. So. Yeah, so 67. Wilkinson will put the foot on the ball. Ball approaches. Cleared out by Marley. And getting a foot on it and getting oh. the goal is the Brazilian Chris Sevieri. It hit off a of Seb Marley. Went right back to Chris Sevieri. Took a shot at it, 
and shot it past Andrew Hoffer for Barry's third goal of the night to now go ahead 3-0. The goal scored at 73-24. Yeah, that's a lovely ball, and, and he, he pounded the ball, and it, I don't know how it got past Hoffer, but kind of the, the, the most difficult place for the keeper to get down low is, is right next to his own feet. And